Hi, welcome to a video podcast on Young's modulus. Uh, and what we're going to be doing is how you're going to measure Young's modulus as a previous podcast uh, on calculating Young's modulus and the concept. So you're going to need a nice long wire. I find it most convenient for the wire to be horizontal. So you're going to clamp that wire to a table at one end. There's the table have a pulley at the other end and then have some masses hanging off. Here's the, here's the table on the floor. Safety considerations, foam on the floor to protect the um, floor from the falling masses and so you don't get your foot underneath. Definitely want to be wearing goggles because a lot of energy can be stored in the wire so it can fly up. You're going to need to put in um, a little pointer, uh, just a piece of tape or something so that we can see how the wire is extended under the load and the length of the wire is measured from where it's clamped to our little pointer. As we increase the load we'll see our pointer move and the distance it moves is delta L, the extension. So we've recorded the original length and the extension. We need to, need to note, make a note of how much mass we've added and we'd need to add a minimum of five different masses in the linear area probably safest to say 10 different masses. And we would need to measure the diameter of the wire so we could calculate the cross-section area. Obviously, we'd calculate the cross-section area using pi r squared. And we would want r in metres because when we calculate stress, um, we want the um, area to be in metres squared. So once we've got our results, we can start processing them. We will need to calculate the strain for each of our measurements, so that's easy enough, that's the extension over the original length and we don't have to worry too much about units there as long as they're both in the same units. Stress, we'll need to find the load we applied in kilograms and multiply that by 9.81 to find the force, the weight in newtons, divide that by the area in metres squared. And hopefully we'll get a nice straight line graph coming through the origin followed by an area of plastic deformation. And it's the gradient of this linear section, only the linear section, that is equal to Young's modulus. Hope you find that useful. Thank you.